Hey, me too. I'm back with another love compatibility video. It's your girl, Maeva. I'm a singer, songwriter, as well as I'm into astrology. And let's dive into it. So, I've been sitting here thinking about which one I was going to do. And all I could think about doing is, honestly, the Aries woman and Gemini man. And we're dealing with cardinal fire and mutable air. The one thing I could see going, like, so wrong. <sighs> I'm gonna give it such a low rating. I'm trying to be positive and I'm not trying to fixate it off of one relationship that I've seen, which was Courtney and Scott. Okay. This is like such an immature relationship. I'm sorry. Like this relationship will solely be real based off of toxicity. Like at first they may get together and they look cute because they both have this childlike energy and this youthfulness to them. But as time progresses, like y'all toxic as shit for each other. I'm sorry. And I, it's hard to, um, cause be, because, you know, their sister elements are fire and air and they're supposed to be compatible. You're supposed to be really up there in terms of compatibility. But like how I've seen is like Gemini never really grows up. Gemini gives me definitely the energy for Gemini is like, um, I don't know, Pinocchio, but there's another Disney character, Riding Hood. Robin Hood. Peter Pan syndrome. There we go. Yeah, just like don't ever want to grow up. And it's like Gemini's they're already enough to deal with and Aries is already impulsive as you can get. So how I'm viewing the situation with the two of them is like Aries woman's gonna dig the Gemini's by because the Gemini man is very charismatic and he's very bold. Like when he's there, he's bold. He knows how to put on he knows how to show face. You know, if you ever heard that statement, that means like he knows how to mask his real self to get what he wants and aries because she's impulsive she doesn't necessarily think long term she always thinks about short term how i'm feeling now 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 and when she meets the gemini man it's probably gonna be like well i'm here and this is that he matched my energy and this is this bond connection when y'all sleep together it's gonna be dynamic it's gonna be fun it's gonna be athletic you know it's gonna be high energy but then after that it's like what else is left you guys may have a high sexual compatibility and be screwing like rabbits 24-7. But aside from that, communication, trash. Financial responsibility. Hmm. If that Gemini man doesn't come for money, trash. Patience, trash. Style. Okay, I'll give you style. Because the Gemini can dress. You, the Gemini has an essential vibe to them. The Gemini is the captains of the ship. In terms of family... Meeting the family, bringing the Gemini home to meet the family. Yeah, it's going to be all cool and f cool and cordial. And like, you know, when they first meet you, but they realize your patterns isn't really matching your actions. It's like, well, dang, you can't always charm your way out the situation. Seriously. It's like, what are you going to do to change? Gemini is a very unstable zodiac sign. Okay. Aries, because Aries is a cardinal sign. Aries women tend to have a strong hand on their shoulder. Yeah, they may act impulsively, but same way they can cut you off impulsively as well. My thing is, when dealing with the Gemini, because he's the joker, he's the trickster, it's like he can have everybody viewing you in a way of, you're the bad person. When he's the one doing all the skedaddling crap. And I think it's very interesting to see how that whole diaspora plays out because... You the one who's going three, four, five days without communicating. You the one who wants to break up every five days. You the one who gets mad whenever I just decide to separate myself from you. But then I'm the one being gaslighted for what you're doing because you refuse to just sit down and face who you really are. And that's how the Aries woman's gonna feel when she really sits and dwells and understands her emotions rather than acting on an impulse. Because Aries, one thing about Aries, they are loyal. Too loyal, in fact. Them and Leo, too loyal, in fact. I mean, bring it down a couple notches, okay? For your sanity, not for them. Because I feel like the Aries woman will do almost anything and everything to save her relationship. It's can we work this out? I know what I want and I know what I need. In this point in your life, you just want to club and drink no, and do, do the bull Yes, you do. I'm looking for a wife, man. Somebody's well, gonna take care of me and my kids. Me, I will change 
But you ain't changing. Take a chance on me. But you ain't changing. You don't know that because you haven't even taken a chance on me. I've been f***ing you for a year and a half. If you was going to change, you would have changed by However, the However, it's not always the best resolution when somebody's driving you insane because Aries get a high off of competition. And if the competition is to see who's the most toxic, she's not leaving that relationship. She gets turned on by that stuff. This is Mars we're dealing with. This is a Mars energy that we're dealing with. So, oh, sorry, leave you. With that being said, it's like Mars and Mercury, because Mercury is the planet of communication. Every time she's searching for an explanation, the Gemini can formulate whatever BS response that he wants to formulate. And she may eat it up time and time and time again because the Gemini man has an amazing way with words. But I just think like, if for your own sanity, like, where do you draw the line? Seriously, where do you draw the line? Where do you draw the line? And it's up to you, Aries woman and Gemini man to figure out where you want to be in your relationship. Because sometimes Gemini's too. The unfaithfulness. Seriously. And another thing too, because the fina the financial aspect of this relationship is the Aries is always going to be independent, you know? I think the Aries woman just has like, she loves men that are ambitious. And Gemini's are tend to really fall into the ambitious route when they really tap into their multifaceted brain. The thing is, like, the whole, because she's a leader, it's a leader sign. It's cardinal air. I mean, excuse me. It's cardinal fire. It's dominance. It's leadership. They look for ambitious individuals. And another reason why an Aries woman would gravitate towards a Gemini man will be because he has, you know, saying a good head on his shoulders with business and accolades, security aspect. And that's why I feel like sometimes it's hard for Aries people to let go of that because the whole public persona of, being the best aries is the first zodiac sign they always the baby they need all the attention by any means anyways so if you're if she, this is like the best boyfriend she's had in a minute or best partner that she's had in a minute she's not gonna give it up easily until she finds something better and that's when she impulsively just breaks up with somebody and brings somebody in new because she found something better Aries is always looking for the best of the best. So Gemini can always match that when they really sit, like when they really sit and tap in. Gemini men always match that. It's like, well, I'm the best. I'm the best. Okay. So all in all with this relationship compatibility, it can be high or really low, seriously. Because Gemini men too, ooh, let me tell you something. They're very skilled multifaceted and very skilled not just in the intimate areas of relationships but one thing i noticed about um gemini man is they're great at giving massages and i feel like the aries or all the inflammations of you running around the stress on, on your body if you're running around after a long day and is the gemini just really not gemini-ing they all could really wind down and really un take the time to understand one another because he loves communication he loves having his brain stimulated. This is a sapiosexual individual when it comes to dealing with the Gemini man. So he loves being in a space where y'all honestly can just talk and let those crazy ideas flow and then those flow into the bedroom and then huh, there we go. All over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So definitely, I'm not saying because it has its lows that it's a bad compatibility. I'm just saying, like, as if you are Aries woman who probably don't have a lot of Earth in your chart, uh, you're gonna be in for a ride. And I think that, but the Gemini man may be for you. However, it's like the lying and the manipulation from the Gemini man. I work with one Gemini man. Trust and believe, like. I pray for women who date Gemini men. I don't date Gemini men. I don't. Um, very flighty. Um, you know, I made a video that says men is short for mental illness. <laughs> and I'll talk about Gemini men because don't even try to keep up with them. They like, they're so skilled, but their communication skills, like you really got to keep reading through the lines when it comes to Gemini men. And I think that's like, it's not worth it, seriously. 
I mean, if you really got a good head on your shoulders, reap the fruits of his labor and don't really like get too involved in his brain because it's two brains in one body that you're dealing with, with the Gemini man, okay? So, mean team, I'm gonna give this reading a seven out of 10. I think I'm gonna be fair with that. Only because I think it does have the capacity to sustain based on the intent of the whole relationship. But it does have the capacity to be extremely toxic. And I definitely wanted to shine a light on that. So let me know what you're thinking with the Gemini man, Aries woman video. Smash subscribe and tune back in to my YouTube channel for my music and other astrology content videos. Other than that, bye bye.